Hi, my name is Ernest Hancock. I'm the publisher of FreedomsPhoenix.com. Now, the special guest today is John Buttrick, Judge John Buttrick. He's a Superior Court Judge here in Maricopa County. You know, this is a nice, hey, nice place you got here, Ernie. This is the new studio, huh? Freedom's Phoenix and the libertarianism that we practice, you know, has done our best for a lot of activists of years gone by to make sure that we have provided them a facility for them to do all the stuff that we wanted to do. You know, years ago, we were young activists 15 years ago going, man, if we only had, if we had a place, if we had air conditioning, if we had a studio, if we had radio, if we had silkscreen machine, printing presses, sign production, I mean, phone lines. I mean, so we put everything in one place for people just to do whatever they want, and they are. Can you show me your studio in here? What you, what you have, what you did here? Yeah, oh, sure. We can get away from that property. Well, on the other side of this glass is a radio studio. We're just finishing that now. We'll be done with that in about two weeks. We're having all the board system and everything have been on order or being installed next week, and hopefully we'll be on the air next week. This is the television area. We're putting more monitors in and control boards and such. We're, we have the studio built, and uh, we just keep adding more and more equipment as time goes on. A lot of it's donated. A lot of it belongs to other guys. And uh, as we need to have cabinets built or a place to put it, we just keep adding on more stuff. We have over here a tool area where it looks like we, a great facility. I we build, great. yeah, we build anything that we need. We have, you know, a, a table saw over there, a lot of power tools and so on. So there's really not anything that we can't do. This desk we built here. Very nice. You I know, like the, the floor, the stage, well, everything. We've done all this ourselves. I don't know. In here, it's a we have the radio studio that we've yet to finish. So we're we're in the process of you know this is the, putting the soundproofing on and everything and and uh, as we put in the equipment we'll be on the air. We're going to be doing national radio show syndicated over a dozen stations, two hours a day morning show. So we're you know it, it, if you build it they come and we're we built it. <laughs> Well, excellent. You know, I, I'm very proud of, of what I see here, definitely. I'm, I'm jealous almost because uh, I want it in Tucson, <laughs> and I'm going to build it. Well, you know, <laughs> doing yeah, it next. You, just, you just do it. And, of course, what we have here is available. We have a lot of people who come up from Tucson. In fact, one gentleman moved up here from Tucson so that he have access to this facility. Really? Right. Would that be the gentleman we were just talking about? Yes, it was. <laughs> I didn't know he got away from Tucson. I was. I wanted him to help me with my project. Of that course you wrong. did. Yeah. But we had this. No, no. Yeah, you couldn't yeah. compete. That's right. That's why he wouldn't answer my phone calls. I think. <laughs> yeah. Well, excellent. Hey, thank thank you very much for for doing this for us, and uh, I look forward to working with you in the future. Yeah, I look forward to Definitely. seeing you. Hey, tell me a little more about your radio station. Now, you said you're going to be broadcasting. Um, we have a lot of offers. I've been in radio for a long time, and you know, there's a lot of opportunities for us to go on the air. But I just, you know, it's the internet. So we built this facility for the internet. Now, the broadcasting network that we're uh, negotiating with right now to go on has affiliates that will be on, but the primary reason for us doing this and building this was not to get on a network. That just kind of happened. It was for us to be able to inspire others to do their own radio show and archive it on the internet. You know, I haven't been on the air in over a year, and I still get, you know, 10, 20, 30,000 downloads of my radio shows in the archive a month. Right. You know, it's just, you know, once you're on the Internet and you have it search engine optimized where by its subject or who your guest was or what the issues are, you know, they get seen. A lot of people want to hear it. So we're making this facility available to be able to just, you know, do the injection of the libertarian infection into the bone marrow of American politics for which there is no cure. <laughs> I'll punch the heart,